So we know the exterior angle plus the interior angle equals to 180 degrees. So the exterior angle is x and the interior angle is 8x, which is 180. We add that up, which would be 9x equals to 180. x equals to 180 over 9, which is 20. So since we already find x, we can find the interior angle, which was 8x. And now we can substitute x in, which is 8 times 20 giving us 160. So the formula for the interior angle is it's 180 times n minus 2 over n. Since we already found the interior angle, so it's 160 equals to 180n minus 360 over n. So I'll bring n to the other side, which will give us 160n equals to 180n minus 360. So I collected the like terms to one side, which is 360 minus 180n minus 160n, which would give me 360 equals to 20n. So I want to find n, so I'll bring 20 to the other side, which would give me n equals to 360 over 20 giving me the answer of 18 so our number of size is 18 so this next question is asking us to find the angle CDB which is right over here and you can see that this is a triangle in a semicircle so we know that C is 90 So DCB equals to 90 degrees. And I also see this shape over here, which is one of the circle theorems. So we know that DBC is 58. So CDB equals to 180 minus 90 minus 58 giving us an answer of 32 pure q is 24 degrees because of the theorem which says the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference that is subtended by the same arc And we can also conclude that when you draw a line straight through PQ, you can see another circle theorem. And this is an isosceles. So that's 24. Which means this is also 24. So our OPR equals to 24. So they're saying the radius of the circle is 5.4 centimeters. And they want us to calculate the length of the major arc of PQ. So the major arc of PQ is this one.
that's the major arc. So this is the minor arc of PQ. That's 48. And this is the major arc of PQ. That's P, that's Q. And this you would get by minusing 48 from 360, which gives us 312. So to find the length of PQ, we'll use the circumference formula, which is 2 pi r times theta over 360. In this case, our theta is 312 and our radius is 5.4. So we put that into the formula and plug these values into our calculator and that should give us a value of 29.4